Uh, good evening and welcome to the Master Plan Implementation Committee meeting for November 19th, 2019. Um, and without further ado, Delise, could you lead us in the pledge? Oh, certainly. Thank you. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Unless there's an objection uh, <clears throat> from our one or more of our members, uh, I'd like to modify the uh, <clears throat> agenda sequence to accommodate one of our members um, who has to leave in an hour, and therefore I want to take up something that <clears throat> that I in particular, or we need in particular, to have at least, shall we say, formal input and approval at least, however provisional or conditional, um, uh, on the item. The item in particular is that sometime in the next couple of months we have to give a update, I don't have any problem with it, um, update to the Board of Selectmen and to the Planning Board. And <clears throat> although both of those boards, since they are the major actors in real implementation, I'm not generally too worried about telling them something they don't know. However, uh, we also have a, a role in providing guidance and promotion. So I want to take advantage of that time to s sort of summarize our guidance, and that comes from several different directions that will be assembled between now and the time I give that um, update. So I just want to just go over very briefly the main core of what will be presented to them so that this board at least can hear uh, what our representations are going to be. Perhaps the best and most contemporaneous um, summary of that is actually in Mike Fontanella's draft of what he can, what we basically he calls a status report. Um, and with the exception of a few items having to do with activities of the planning board uh, that didn't make it onto his copy, uh, this will be basically the core of the update uh, that I'll be giving to the Board of Selectmen. So it's not so much that I want premature approval of, of, of this particular document, it's basically the, the basic court uh, materials, but basically just making sure that they are aware of just how much or how little, depending on your point of view, is going on in town. And we could have a discussion following about, <clears throat> the, shall we say, our sense, that is the committee sense of where we're heading, and I'll incorporate that as well. So um, I, I know that you've had this list. I know that most of you are very familiar with it since it's basically in the master plan. There, <clears throat> it's, it's old stuff in the but sense that- If you need another hard copy, we have some up here. Yeah, mm -hmm. are you all set? Everyone thought, good, okay. So um, the other piece that uh, I'll be including is that, uh, as you probably also know, it's a matter of public record. Um, that, <clears throat> that each committee submits uh, at the beginning of each year um, a basically a summary statement of goals for the committee. And um, I've already put, as of August, I've put one together, um, and this board said fine. And I just want you to know that, that I'll be including some elements of that as well in the, uh, in the shall we say, guidance. The main thrust of, by the way, the goal that would be new as far, not new, but a slight emphasis is that I'll be shifting our, balancing our attention to ongoing items that are explicitly mentioned by tasks in the master plan to those portions of the master plan, let's say of the fold out that are to the right of the fold out. That's the money and who gets to do it. That's the personnel resources and the financial resources. I'll be shifting, I'll be adding that to the, the guidance and focusing in particular on, um, with examples, on, shall we say, the financial economic side of doing the master plan. So it'll be somewhere between a 10 or 15 minute, I hope not that long uh, presentation, because most of the board members, including ones sitting here, I wish we had the representation of the, um, uh, <coughs> the board of selectmen here tonight. Uh, none of this should be news to them. The only thing that, that may be helpful is basically giving some guidance about what we see as a committee moving forward. So if there's no objection, 
Uh, that's the main thrust of what I'll be doing. And with your basically support, permission, whatever you call it, that's, that's basically what I'm moving, moving to. So at, at this point, what I'd like to do is to make sure that our view, to the extent we can develop it, is reflects our, shall we say, experience and outlook, not necessarily just one person's. Mm -hmm. I just I want to make sure that in addition to enumeration, uh, that we make clear, shall we say, our view of what's really happening as a result of the town's approval and acceptance of the master plan in 2017. So, uh, the least I'm just going to start with you since you did such a great job with the flag. So, <laughs> I was wondering if you have in reflection, and you, you don't have to cover the waterfront, you can basically pick out those areas where you feel you have a special or a, a more complete knowledge and experience about rate of progress, quality of the progress, what your view is of fulfilling the requirement or what the town wants as reflected in the master plan. What exactly, I'm not quite sure what, what you want me to say. I mean, what are you looking for okay. here? Right, there are a number of items in the right. master plan. They have numbers associated with right. it and tasks and all the rest. Um, and I've read all of this already. Okay, that, that's, so that's Mike, that's his enumeration. Uh -huh. It's sort of like a, this document is intended for a totally different reason, but fortuitously it's a list of things. Mm -hmm. And what I'm interested in is, for example, given your interest in participation for the planning board, I'm just using this as an example, you have a particular portfolio having to do with the, <coughs> the station, the development of that area. That happens to be one of the major components and high priority items of the master plan. What is your view or your take of the progress being made on fulfilling that, that okay. priority? Okay, that's a little bit clearer. All right. Um, we are expecting a report back from the consultant on somewhere beginning of December, right, Maren? Yeah. Yeah. Um, at which point we will have a better sense of how we're going to proceed and whether or not we're going to present or look for zoning changes at the spring meeting. So I think we're definitely making good progress there, don't you, Maren? Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the public outreach process mm -hmm. not only reached those that could attend the um, charrettes that were held last spring, um, but with the surveys, uh, that drew in uh, several hundred people. Yeah. And so Maren and I were actually discussing this evening, um, how do we now bring this report forward to the public? Mm -hmm. So do we do it as part of a Board of Selectmen meeting? So that's something we'll discuss as part of the Littleton Station Working Group sometime at the beginning of December. <laughs> so so you would you would consider this this particular item that's for the master plan as making steady Oh absolutely. Progress. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your next step will come in the next several months. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Is there any further indication from the Commonwealth about their plan which they presented or their overall omnibus plan for transportation and how they looked at Littleton, which is part of the station. Mm -hmm. uh, has there been any, any update or progress from anybody from what we'll call the one or two committees in town that have the portfolio of transportation? So Maren, I believe um, last I heard they're talking about electrical yeah, yeah, system out to Littleton, but there's no time frame. There's, no, there's, it's just pie in the sky at this point, mm -hmm. is what what I've understood, right? Yeah, very very long term planning. Yeah. but they did the committee did recommend the, the statewide committee did recommend um, the full electrification um, every 15 minute headway, right, uh, including Littleton, right. So. What, in your view, is the connection between the timeline of I'll call it the Commonwealth's view of, of electrification and what Littleton is doing with respect to that particular area? To me, I mean, they're related, but the the electrification is so far off right now, and there's and because there's no timeline, 
to me, it's, uh, it's almost irrelevant. I mean, the fact is we, we want to put in place some zoning changes now. Well, now, I mean, within the next, you know, short term, next couple years. So, and we already know we have people interested in, in developing that area. So I think we're, we're my view is we're going to move forward regardless of whether the state decides to electrify the lines. So, there, so Lauren, <clears throat> I mean, jump in here if I'm. Mm -hmm. No, no there are, it, it's the thinking more <clears throat> in terms of is the development of the area viewed, uh, is, the, is the development of that area, does that require or is it does not require the what we'll call upgrade, I'll just use the term upgrade, of the sh quantity and quality of transportation? Well, but I think we definitely need more parking, which that also is being addressed, but I don't think the development is dependent on electrification of the lines. So they're decoupled? At this point. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it helps the long-term thinking process, but other than that, I don't think it helps the on-the-ground work to be done. Okay. Okay. I'm, this is what the status is. If these two mm -hmm. things are not, you know, anywhere close to being in sync, uh, no. that's what it is. Yeah. And What's the news on uh, increasing the size of the parking lot, Maren? Um, no, no new news on that. Okay. Um, the design has been submitted to the Conservation Commission, but we haven't heard that there's any funding available to actually implement if it's approved. Yeah, I don't know if you all saw in uh, this week's Boston Globe, the Sunday Globe, there was an article, yeah, but it was yeah. nothing concrete. Well, and so some of the thought process is with all the repairs, that are being done to Alewife and that are needed at Alewife. There's probably not a lot of funding for right. yeah. I think other cases. <coughs> my, my suspicion is that the Commonwealth is going to pay a lot more attention to parking and rail service, say, in t inside the loops as opposed to the folks and the stuff that's sitting on the end. I know Western Massachusetts separately mm -hmm. is looking for a faster tr uh, time of travel between uh, the outline, the Western Massachusetts and Boston because apparently quite a number of folks find themselves strapped for both money and time in, in doing it. It's quite a bit of employment apparently for, uh, so there's many more things that are waiting for transportation. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> you have a comment? <coughs> Clearing my throat at this point, figuring we're coming down the line. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll switch gears. <coughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, asked to join the board for uh, being an architect in the area. Uh, the most interesting thing to me is uh, form-based code and the change that the planning board is working on. Very much looking forward to the transformation that that will bring to our downtown. Uh, I do take note of other areas when I'm traveling for successful aspects of this that I can share and look to be present as that's uh, still developing with planning board. So excited about that. Living on Bulkley Road, there yeah, needs to be some interest around the train station and things, but I'm sure that all of these things move at something faster than glacial, but not uh, <laughs> uh, <It's> panic <laughs> stricken. So uh, I'll be interested to see that take shape, but uh, I've got to imagine that's even longer. Than well, I will tell you that there are those of us on the Littleton Station Working Group who are really want to start things happening like now so we're not interested in moving at a glacial speed yeah doesn't mean it won't but it so certainly won't be because we're not pushing for sure 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 yeah w what do you have in mind what do we have in mind yeah, in other words if you want to make it happen what is it that you want well to the first present? thing we have to do is get the the zone the, the codes changed right but we also have people who are interested in developing pieces of the land there which we're already in discussions with them. Yes. So, you know. So is housing, so housing may appear. Oh, absolutely. Well before, I hate to say it, the, ra the railroad <laughs> catches up. Way before, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, fair enough. That, that, that itself represented a, an approach. Mm -hmm. So that needs to be, I mean, it may be obvious, but I'm not sure everybody in town appreciates the mm -hmm. 
approach. So, <clears throat> so you, you're trying to make it possible through, you're trying to set the table, as it were, for developers to, to basically find it inviting and worthwhile for them to come in sooner rather than later and begin, shall we say, developing. Yeah, but it's also, we're interested in maintaining the small town feel, you know, where we don't just want suburban sprawl. We want to create two village centers where these are places people can live, work, recreate. We want to have everything linked with bike trails and walking trails. So, th so the thought is to have a plan in place so that it doesn't just become up to the developers. We actually are maintaining some control over how this is going to look and feel. Mm -hmm. Good. So, <coughs> for, I'm sorry, form-based code may play uh, an important role. Let me, uh, let I, I think it'd be more design standards would be put yeah. in place versus form-based code from what we've discussed with the consultants. And, and in my experience um, with the sewer feasibility committee, um, just I would speak to the infrastructure part, and mm -hmm. I know you can control a lot with that as well. But the last that I have heard, we're still searching. Is it true we're still searching for a, a, a site for wastewater treatment? And that I'm not sure if that's still ongoing. I was hoping to get an update from Chase or somebody about what's happening with that exactly. Where we I know where the funding is um, hopefully going to happen in the spring. Correct. Well, I, I can't speak for the <clears throat> the folks who were in charge. And that already is a hint, mm -hmm. but what's been going on there um, is that, among other things, um, first of all, keep in mind that the town has gone to the state and we're in, as it were, in progress of establishing a, um, a uh, I guess you call it, a sewer zone. <laughs> And, and so, th therefore, that gives it a special designation and makes it eligible for all kinds of things. There's also, there are rules develop, uh, that need to be followed. Right. The second big development, or the second big event that's occurred, is that the, I'll call it the uh, Littleton Water Department, yeah. is now going to assume responsibility, uh, both administratively and in terms of engineering, getting the engineering done and the construction done yeah. uh, for it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I can make out, the only thing that is is basically been, as it were, put onto a sequence rather than going in would be the quirk, which would be the recovery part uh, that gave the, the name Smart Sewer the Smart Sewer. The, the, the notion here is it may not be necessary to put that in immediately, mm -hmm. but first of all, get the basic elements of, shall we say, uh, waste transport and removal addressed first, get that engineered and done, and then as in a modular sense, move in the quirk as appropriate because it's location and all the rest right. requires some thought before you do that. Mm -hmm. So the idea would be they, they've given they've been given the okay to begin looking for a piece of property to do the uh, the, the processing on. Mm -hmm. So that's been moving that's been yeah. moving ahead. So hopefully in the spring um, the common will see the money made available and yes. presumably um, they'll be able to put an actual shovel <coughs> into the ground maybe four or five months after that, hopefully, uh, because designing it is not, is not it, it, although it's intricate, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. This is not the first sewer system that engineers <laughs> have ever, as it were, designed and put in. And they're all custom customized, but mm -hmm. fortunately the technology being used is old stuff. It's over 40 years old. Yes. So it, it should be okay. Um, and then, uh, I'll tell you, there's already one and maybe two folks uh, and have had ongoing conversations with others. Uh, there's, as you probably know, that, that the uh, <coughs> property owners in, in and around the Littleton, that actually own the property, not all of whom are residents of Littleton, um, are, are very enthusiastic and are moving together with their own plans about how they're going to develop. Mm -hmm. And one or two of them, are far advanced. One of them in particular has already made a public presentation of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that one will, that one looks like a little closer in being able to get started. Yeah. So <clears throat> I would I would say probably the common is not moving with 
Uh, I can't say with glacier speed, but I would say probably um, <coughs> 18th century communication speed. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it that way. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's the best I can do. The <coughs> you know, we're certainly not. We're up to Pony Express? Stage. Yeah, we're at Pony Express stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hoping not we can ve eventually get to telegraph, all right? Mm -hmm. But <coughs> that's another story entirely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so other than the sewer, Megan, do you have any other comments? I uh, think, am I cutting you off? I'm sorry. No, no. Megan, keep okay, going. I'll have one more. I really was just going to speak on on that, and you know, I have seen progress, and I'm I am pleased with what how far it's come, just in the last couple of years. So, yeah. I feel like it's progressing, and as you just spoke, um, it is. So I didn't really have a lot on the other items, um, just out of ignorance and really not as much knowledge about that stuff. So we can continue. <laughs> or then the other thing that deserves a hurrah is the library moving yes. forward. Yes. So that's yes. something else to be excited about. Yeah, I was about. surprised it <laughs> didn't pop up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, which of course frees up space at Shattuck Street, which is relates to the space needs. So. Yeah. Yes. Now, now we come to one of the other columns. In the, right. And, and um, this, is a, this is a form, this is a place where um, there's, we're supposed to provide guidance. Mm -hmm. We don't, we're, we're not being told what to do. So I'm sensitive to the, what the role is of the planning board and the board of selectmen. But they are looking for what we'll call guidance, fact-based guidance. They can reject it, they can accept it, they can manipulate it any way they want, yeah. hopefully use it. So um, what I'm interested in at this point is that what do you see as, and you're getting a hit about what, a, what are we, Littleton A, particularly good at when it comes to doing, uh, I'll leave it open for projects, because you can classify them, like are we better at land use, are we better at Sewering is. It, I'm, I'm just going across. Mm -hmm. What are we good at? Uh, because uh, again, I don't like quoting former, you know, Defense Department secretaries, but we do implementation with the personnel and resources that we have, not the ones that we'd like to have or the ones that we mm -hmm. may have in the future. We have to mm -hmm. deal with who we are and what we have. So. I'm interested in what do you think you mean this committee or the town of Littleton? The, the town of Littleton. Oh, when, yeah. it, when, it, when it undertakes projects. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you first started talking about this, I was envisioning the town meetings that drew a large crowds and, you know, the, the stadium, the library. Mm -hmm. so that seems to get a lot of people out and involved. Um, those community type, um, you know, things that draw people together, that get people out of the house, that but still is in Littleton. Um, I don't know, I just, that's where, that's what I first started thinking about when you were talking about this. I, I mean that, the football field went up, it like happened so quickly and it looks so great and it's being used. I walk my dog down there, I see like, I hear the games from my house, it's just, it's, like I feel like that kind of really came together. That, to me, I think the town focused on that, got it done. That was something that I think of. I don't know, but that's what you're looking for. Uh, if we're good, <laughs> if we're good, at, no, if, if we're good at doing stadiums and libraries because of the passion behind it, of the of the interest of the town in it. That's yeah. that. That I mean, that's not a surprise. Yeah. So, you know. <clears throat> There's a separate question, which is then how do you get things done where the passion may be there, but it shall we say, not as highly specialized, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we have to draw the line. Um, we have to connect the dots of the sewer will mean X, Y, Z can happen. And, you know, people have always been saying before the point came like there wasn't really anywhere to eat around here and mm -hmm. stuff like that you know there was Ken's cafe that then became something else that is now Il Forno but um, I feel like we people wanted something but ex you know we had to go through these steps first so we I think we have to connect the dots so that people will become impassioned and like 
So are we looking at a status report here? What, what, I just want to make sure since time is short. We're not looking, we're, we're, I, am, I am trying to get from our experience and our know-how in, in participating, what is the town good at? Simply enumerating this stuff makes, you know, it's great we're doing well, but we, there's a lot more to do to get done in the future, including what goes on around the station. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, shall we say, what's in the uh, master plan, which is, i quote from it, an intergenerational yeah. community center. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, that's... So should we discuss that now? Because I know it's here, this inner, the community center, which ties in with space needs and... Okay, you, you, if you want to talk about it as an example of something... No, I'm just, I'm just sorry, Mike. I'm just looking at the agenda and trying to okay, figure I'm, out where I'm we are on Okay, I'm still on the, the only agenda item we're looking at right now... Is which is, one? Is, is, is the one that, that <clears throat> I am, I'm inserting in here, which is called The Road Ahead. Okay. Okay? So where are we on that? I'm, I'm asking what are we particularly good at, okay, because I'm interested in its, it's in connection with D, it's in connection with C, uh, it's in connection with the Economic Development Committee. I'm trying to find out from our group here, mm -hmm. uh, based on their experience, we have to keep laboring the point, about what we're good at, mm -hmm. what the town is good at. What you're giving indication is, is the type of project. Yeah, and even this building we're in. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like this was something that was successfully, you know, kind of brought forth. And I, I don't know if you're trying to, like, um, figure out, like, how we can implement this stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 no, uh, yeah in, other words, our, in other words, if there's a project here that makes a lot of sense for the town, and yet it doesn't arouse for any particular reason, let's, let's assume the issue of passion and connectiveness that you mentioned mm -hmm. is absent, mm -hmm. then, you know, five or ten years later, the town suddenly says, oh, we should have had an mm -hmm. intergenerational whatever, yeah. okay? And we didn't do it because it didn't generate the passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So it, it, it's, it's, it's that sort of thing that I'm interested in. Are we, are we for example, do we feel that our financial systems that we have in place, are there, first of all, do we approach that adequately? Are we very good at, at basically understanding how and when and how to basically finance some of these projects? Mm -hmm. And the answer may be, you know, it may be opa opaque. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a rest. Okay. <laughs> well? Well, I'm happy that Megan brought up the point of this building. So I take a 20 year view at where we were and where we are. And so both the police station and the fire station accomplish what they're here to do in the 21st century and provide this communication network spaces for all of us to meet. So I think we did a really good job of grabbing hold of what that can be and should be to offer more for the town. An architectural tenant is never do anything for just one reason, so the fact that all of the things are accomplished in these two spaces is very good. I've enjoyed meeting mm -hmm. here and at the fire station. Uh, thereby, look forward to what the library we're off, will offer for all the meeting spaces, which will be intergenerational. It doesn't necessarily cross that off the list of our to-dos, but as the new library is built and those spaces are available and frees up the old library spaces, we're moving in the right direction getting those things done. Schools have certainly all been improved over the last 20 years. And the other thing that deserves uh, recognition is that from my experience living here, we decided we didn't want to look like strip mall land as you might experience to the west or mm -hmm. to the east from here, and we voted for green space. And we figured out how to do that, and the planning board was involved with getting cell tower money to help fund uh, green space. So I think collectively, we've landed at defining what we want this town to be. And I think we're getting to the point where we realize that you can't fund it all with homes. So we're finally encouraging and recognizing and welcoming businesses. So I look forward to see where that's going to take us in the next 20 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well okay. said. No, I think that was well said. Okay. 
All right. Do you want to add anything to Lisa? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, it's fortuitous that you landed on that spot, and um, I will take this information that you provided about things that really work and make sure it gets as clearly communicated. I, I don't think any of this is going to be news to the Board of Selectmen. I think they probably already got the idea. It's the connecting the dots part yeah. that probably needs to be tightened up mm -hmm. because uh, each of the projects that are in the master plan I think are worthy of passion. For sure. And for the public. The yeah. dots need to be connected I think for the public because once yes. we get the public behind things that's when things get built. And moved. That's your yeah. point about the yes. track. Yeah. Right. The, the track. Well, it that's actually so fast. the track and the state. Like, I feel like I was at a town meeting one night, and then, like, literally a month later, there was, <laughs> it seemed like. But it just went up real fast in, in my yeah. mind. Where I guess I was on a committee where things were this yeah. going along at snail speed with the sewer, but now I feel like it's starting to pick up. So I just, I don't know. I. I think connecting the dots with some of this stuff is important because it's not, infrastructure is something you really have to have vision in order to picture the end results. And I am not very good at having that kind of vision myself. So it took me sitting on a committee for several years before I could start to get that, wrap my head wrapped around that. So I think for the public, we really need to be able to connect the dots. What does form based code mean to anybody that goes to town meeting? <laughs> yeah. You know, I just figured it out myself, but, um, so, connecting the dots for the public so we can get stuff moving, I think that'll, that'll help. Okay. All right, I'm, I think that <coughs> we've hit the ball a couple of times. <laughs> I think we, we got it. Thank you, thank you very much. It's all very, very useful, and I think we can get that into my, <coughs> hopefully, 10-minute presence. You okay. can do it. All right, there are two floors, so we'll, we'll do it this time. All right. Um, so, I'm going to take the advice here and hopefully with your approval, go ahead and make that update to the, is there anyone here have any problems with that? Yeah. Good. All right. So that's, that's it. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we'll move back to, to the, the other parts of the agenda. Um, the, um, I'd like to talk uh, very briefly about uh, Mike, the, the listing that Mike provided and at least my understanding of what we were trying to do here, which was to basically come up with a document that we could use to communicate, speaking of speaking, of connecting mm -hmm. the dots with the public. Mm -hmm. It was primarily to be used as a start point or the thematic that would allow us to uh, make it very clear that not only is implementation going on, but what it means. So you've had a chance to take a look at the document and we're, we're not going to make a, any, shall we say, we're not going to accept or reject it. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, if we're going to do any editing, I want to give Mike and whoever else can work on this some guidance about where we want to go. So Lyle, I'll start with you this time. Yeah. Um. have it here, I find it an apt summation of the things that are in process and are being worked on. This would be a whole lot easier to digest for someone new than this. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. um, <laughs> where we've had success with pulling people in and sharing in charrettes and presentations and things, I would imagine having some spot on town-wide agenda to share, here's the stuff that is going on so that people can have some enthusiasm about uh, what we're doing would be good. So I've read it, I know the things that I know, there isn't anything I disagree with, there might be some areas that need some more filling in, but it's just things that will come from time and working on them. But uh, I'm grateful to Mike for having put the work in to get us here. We're ready to tell town where we are and what we're getting behind and moving. Okay. I like this and I would like to make it like a I would love to see it on like social media yeah it's a and good point. I almost like an outline that instead of the numbers which seem out of context from like someone w looking mm. at this on Facebook and maybe just putting bullet points and more of like an outline and just maybe more colorful or something but just getting it out there on in Littleton's like many different Facebook pages and stuff 
evergreen content, they say, in social media marketing, so being present to what we're all doing. Yeah, I think that would be a way to just get keep the public engaged on what's happening and feel like they're apprised and like they know what's happening. And and do you think the style, language, and all the rest is... Um, I mean, just looking at it, like I feel like if I looked at it as it is, it makes sense to someone sitting on a committee, but like if I was looking at this on Instagram or Facebook mm -hmm. or something, I wouldn't, it, it would gl I'd glaze over it, but I feel like there's ways you could just take this very simple con... I like how it's on one page, mm -hmm. that's great, and I like how there's bold and there's like some spaces in between, but I feel like you can kind of make it more easy on the eyes for something. And even maybe take one every day and like put it up there. Just from my business standpoint, I have a younger person that's doing some of my social media stuff and they're, they're so good at it. Like I, I feel like kids these days, or not kids, but like people in their 20s and 30s really understand the way that people absorb information these days. And this is gr a great start, but it would be nice to see it more, I don't know, um, like almost like a flashcard of information, like a little every day or something, you know? Interesting. So. Mm, no, I don't really have anything additional to say. No. I, think it's, I think it's very useful. How would you how would you uh, market this? I think what Megan said makes sense. I think you know to make it more visually appealing. But I think you know I think it's a lot of it is just getting out in front of the public and doing sessions, which we're already doing. So. I am glad that we are all having the chance to share this back and forth. So I was receiving it as merely the tool to pass along through the iterations of the Master Plan Implementation Committee. That's what I remembered Mike and Chase's assignment to be. But then as soon as Megan mentioned making it palatable and easy and yep. colorful and accessible, it's like, ah, oh, that, that would make it even better, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a work in progress, but it's definitely, I, I like that it's just a snapshot and, you know, where they say timely, it's, you know, it's just in time. So. Okay, so if, if we wanted to, as it were, when we talk about sessions, you're talking about public sessions, right? Like the ones that you're planning for, I'm just using it, but that we've had, that other people have, where you announce yeah. to the public, come on some evening, and this is what's what's going on. There's the what's going on in person, and then there is the, what we'll call it, <coughs> uh, social network system. Mm -hmm. Social, electronic. Yeah, electronic dissemination. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is a, not only very, very different, but requires a different skill set entirely. Yeah. Right. Wouldn't minimize that. Okay. Um, full disclosure, during the upcoming, uh, what do you call it, financial uh, <clears throat> fiscal year, mm -hmm. uh, I put in a, a very modest request for funds for us because we don't, quote, implement. We don't build bridges. We don't do sewer systems. Mm -hmm. We don't do zoning. Uh, we, we only hire folks when no one else either can or will or has the ability to do it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's enough, but I've I've, I'm, I'm putting in a request and I'm prepared to use that funds to disseminate. Okay. And <clears throat> I may have to increase the request, uh, just so you know, because at the moment I'm requesting 10,000 bucks, which I think would <clears throat> barely cover the cost of, of a few what we'll call human sessions. I think um, if we went to a real what we call marketing, um, marketing electronic operation and asked them to assist us, we're talking about different kinds of bucks. Mm -hmm. So I will take your advice quite seriously and mm -hmm. pursue it, mm -hmm. and be prepared to uh, for the bull back. And quick, like quick, uh, like YouTube snippets or like Instagram stories or Facebook stories that aren't long, but somebody behind the screen saying some of this stuff too will help. Yeah, we could we could put on the on the on the TV thing. Yeah. But I, th but I really think the YouTube thing, that mm -hmm. was the one I had in mind, and, yeah. and and who knows maybe LCTV would 
be enthused about mm -hmm. doing this as a production exercise. Who knows? Yeah, they're It'll usually be. happy for new content. Cool. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely, as you pointed out, lots of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. That's very, very useful. Okay. Um, next topic is, uh, and it uh, fits in with what you, both of you or all of us have been mentioning, and it's resources. Um, the uh, Economic Development Committee, and I'll be very happy to explain why I landed on them. Um, it's, it's, we, we're, we pushed at transportation, we pushed at land use, um, we pushed at quite a number of topics. The one thing that we did not or did not have an opportunity to push at was uh, resources. And, and I looked at the history of the Economic Development Committee and Economic Development in town in general. And it's, it looked to me, and, and you consulted with others in town, it looked like a random walk uh, followed by silence. Mm -hmm. So it, it's my understanding the Economic Development Committee has been, shall we say, reformed or it's in the process of reformation. And uh, I've had a meeting uh, and some exchanges with the new chairman and uh, shared, as we often do, uh, this committee does, has shared our experiences with how to make things move. Um, and to make a long story short, they're going to attempt to, as it were, define or at least get their hands around what does economic development really mean for the town of Littleton and take certain steps to get that quickly addressed and then decide next what, what if anything, the town should be doing about it. Okay. Because up to this point, it's been, uh, I wouldn't say very, I, I wouldn't say nothing, but very little has occurred that matches up with except fortuitous movements of, of, of companies in the town who are in, uh, induced by either, which is fine, location or a tax benefit. Because mm -hmm. we were giving out tips like popcorn. So oh. it's, just, it's basically that. So who is on EDC now besides Carolyn? Uh, <coughs> I have not. I have uh, Carolyn is the only person I've actually had any contact with. I they're they're having a meeting I believe coming up to, tomorrow the next day, mm -hmm. um, and and because the list has not been updated, it still has the same people and none of them are on the board any longer. Yeah, I, so, or I, the committee. I think it's changed. Uh, but okay. I, I frankly, all I'm trying to do is get a discussion. I'm trying to put some epinephrine into it, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get some stimulus into it. Um, and basically, sometimes money, walk, money makes a difference. Uh, I don't know in this case it will. Uh, it could will very well be that things will stay the same. I'll just try to watch the situation. No, the problem is they can't find people. I mean, I've had conversations with Carolyn, and they are having problems just getting people to volunteer and mm -hmm. join the committee. Right. So. Well, this brings me to the next question. Um, the last time we ran into a, shall we say, a, <clears throat> a problem of this type, uh, we undertook a, shall we say, a, an assertive posture and pushed things along. And it, 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 it worked. Uh, we, we engaged the, the community in it and it worked. I'm, I'm not suggesting for the moment that this is the same situation, but I'd like to also hear from our group here. Should we be pushing this hard? That is, I don't mean the committee, but should we be alerting the Board of Selectmen? I'll just I'll limit it to them uh, more forcefully. So um, we have had. Let me finish, okay? If we're going to do that, the burden would have to fall. If, if the EDC is having difficulty finding members, then what does the Board of Selectmen want to do? if they consider economic development important. Please. So I've had numerous conversations with people on the planning board, the board of selectmen, also EDC. And yes, economic development, in, in increasing our commercial tax base, everybody recognizes is critical. But until the, the sewer is built, there's not much that can be done downtown or in the common area and the Littleton Station Working Group, that's part of, until we have that plan, you can't really go out there and start trying to get companies to move in. 
I mean, there are pr big properties out there that um, are available for lease that are just sitting there because they don't meet the needs of today's, um, you know, companies, what they're looking for. So, I mean, would you agree, Marin? You, you're involved with this as well. But I think everybody on Board of Selectmen and Planning Board is well aware that we do need the economic diversification. It's just, is it right now? Can we really push anything right now when we don't have the infrastructure we need? So. Okay. Um, more fundamentally, if you look at, I'm just saying, if you look at towns around the country as well as Massachusetts and see how they approach successful economic development, um, they also, they start out with the question, what do we mean by economic development? You, the definition here about increasing the tax base is in fact not economic development. In the minds of many of the other towns that were successful, they consider job creation as being the key, and which is linked to housing, transportation. I, I'm not interested in taking sides with this. I'm merely pointing out that we've never been in, in the history, or I can see the history here, of, of other than what we'll call organic fortuitous captures <laughs> of companies. It's never clear to me how much of the tax burden do we expect to relieve if, if that's our objective. And quite frankly, the, tra the track record for reducing taxes by basically bringing in companies, if that's what your intent is, doesn't look all that exciting. I, that doesn't necessarily mean it fails. It just, for us, I just don't know where we are. I don't think we've thought it. Th I don't think we've either thought it through or taken a look at it. So it is, it, is it unlikely we will solve problems if we haven't if s provide solutions if we haven't defined problems? That, I think that's to me the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to get the board of selectmen. Not necessarily they they could ignore this and say we just want to increase the tax base and look what we're doing here, look what we're doing there. Uh, it misses, shall we say, some questions, but just how much can Littleton bear, given its size, given the demographics, given the fact that Monday morning 90% of the population gets in cars and leaves, given the fact, I mean, there's a whole bunch of yeah. stuff. Well, this is not work that I've done or anything I would have on my resume to speak to, but I could imagine, you know, yep. lines of archers shooting arrows, but there's no target <laughs> out there. So That's it. Just, yep being lobbed down the field. So I guess we need to do a better job of defining what it is we're trying to... Or, or at least come to an understanding. You mean, you yeah. mean about the committee itself? I, 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 I'd I like to see, because when you have a committee, they have a committee. If they can't do it, or then the Board of Selectmen, at least in my view, should, as it were, try to take it on. Maybe they don't want to take it on. Maybe they don't think the timing is good. Whatever. Well, could there be like a, a, like a hiatus or a pause in the Economic Development Committee for some time? Can they just hold, uh, like, take a little sabbatical until the infrastructure is there? Uh, no problem at all with that. It's just, that's a policy decision yeah. that, 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 that we we don't make. If there's is that is that the recommendation that you'd like to make? The um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? It's up on to that? the board of selectmen. But what are your thoughts on that? Like, if that were to happen, because they're having trouble filling spots and there's not really much to do, so isn't that a waste of resources? To have well, I mean, there are no resources being wasted. Well, like if you're having meetings and but they're not because they're not they don't have they don't have so they're they're kind of on a sabbatical, kind of just just because the yeah. that's the way it's happened. Yeah. But it's really that's up to the board of select and they have a board of um, Chuck DeCost serves on the committee. So, if I'm not mistaken, if you look at the they have a meeting scheduled. and they have a, a what do you call it? Uh, yeah, they do. Lauren, I looked at yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Right, and I, and I saw the, the they, they discovered the fact that the Commonwealth returned some of our tax dollars in the forms of grants for certain aspects of economic development, mainly circled around jobs. So that might help stimulate, but you may be right. I mean, it, it's, it's a question which, again, um, it, 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 it is something that I think it would be worthwhile, in my view, unless you feel that, that we ought to at least inform the Board of Selectmen that not to expect much from EDC, that, that if they wish to pursue it, they're going to have to find an avenue to do it. Um, 
I don't happen to think personally it would be a waste of some resources for the Board of Selectmen to start asking some questions and start pursuing it because uh, I think that, that the, I don't think it's been fully realized that the limited resources financially that Littleton has and the way it manages those limited resources are colliding with the realities of market forces that very frankly we have little or no control over. And we, we're not strong enough yet. We have the basics, but we're not strong enough yet to take them on. Okay. I mean, to control what we want to do. Okay. But that's up to the you know, statutory boards. Any further comments? No, I have to use that one. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, the I think we've gone through most of the items on here that we need to cover for this evening. Uh, Form-based code, I think is still on, shall we say, on track? Yep, still on track. Okay. Um, and infrastructure is there, and I've already mentioned about the anchors. Um, I'm not going to make any further comment about land use because <laughs> we still have not yet heard from the various committees who are responsible for, shall we say, evaluation of open space opportunities and how the town wants to approach it, which is very difficult. Okay. Now, I did promise that we would hear about um, experiences with master plan implementation from Marin this evening. Um, Do you want to quickly vote on the minutes, though, while I'm here? So yeah, I just want to make, I, yeah. I was going to say that if Marin, do you have an objection if we put it off for another? Uh, because I, I don't know how many times you want to prepare for this, but once is enough. Okay. So, do you want to take a look at number seven, the minutes? Do, do anyone have a comment about the minutes? Yeah, Corrections I'm not down there as having been absent. So. I don't have an H in my name, but no big deal. From, from this version, what um, Lucia did when she prepared these minutes was went um, to the tape of the meeting and did more or less a transcript. Um, yeah. I guess the question to you is, do you prefer the lengthy ones like this or would you rather a, a summary? Summary is my preference. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> you like the detail? Yeah, I think, I think especially if, if people haven't been able to attend, I think it's really useful. Let's try, let's try the long form for another round mm -hmm. and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't want to be the one taking these minutes. Ah, that's a, yeah. that's a different. Yeah. I mean, if that ever were to fall on, on me, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more of a summary person. But. And I also sometimes have a little dyslexia, so it's hard for me to read a lot of stuff. I like to see bullets and stuff. That's just how I absorb information more. Personally. One more round and we'll see. If it what if we did like an outline and then had the long thing as well so people could have both? Just like a one page that would like a summary. Mm -hmm. what, what were you doing? We were using a short form before, which was mm -hmm. sort of a condensed mm -hmm. version of the, of the tape. Right. Lauren, you know it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. um, I guess my hope would be that we can go with a shorter version because of the time constraints that it takes to pr produce a, a long one like this. Um, and if someone would like to go to the tapes, those are all of the, always available on demand or even farther back, you can request them individually. So. I'm fine with that. 
You okay? Do the short. I w yeah, that's my preference. All right. Shorter. Okay. But must have been a heck of a meeting to have four pages of notes on what we talked about. Actually, it was the same old, not a thing, it was <laughs> our usual <laughs> very. I, I was here, so seeing yes. it come out of this four pages, like, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh, would move we approve the minutes as presented okay. this time around. Any corrections, addition corrections? We all set? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. They're accepted. <coughs> thank you. And thank you for the long form, but we went back to the short form. Uh, okay, public input. There is no one here for public input. Uh, I'm going to ask for any final comments by the membership. Any final comments? No, sir. I'm just putting in the date of our next meeting. Um, yes, you're right. So I don't think I have any other comments. Um, no, I don't have any other okay. comments. you all nope. said it. Nope. All right. Well, with the understanding that Marin will be up for our next meeting, depending, you know, no floods or <laughs> further disasters, mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? I move we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much for coming tonight. In bated breath for being at the top of the agenda and having the top of the agenda another time. Cool. Cool.